<clears throat> oh boy, my voice is still waking up. But hi, we're gonna pick up as usual where we left off. Um, yes, I think I got everything on my screen that I need. If not, I will give you a warning when I awkwardly pause, but I think we're good to go. And... Yes, okay, I was trying to remember where we were. So, we were on our way to install these kind of jewel stem stone things to help us teleport. <clears throat> we're on the boat to a village we need to go to, and on the way we passed this arena, which we can't go into yet, but there's a very knowledgeable man who can tell us more about where we are. If you want to know more about the arena? I'm a big fan of the champions. Tell me about Jean the Divine Wind. Jean the Divine Wind is a master of many weapons. His spear attacks are incredible, but is wakizashi <laughs> blurry? Now that is spectacular. Tell me about the other ones. Tell me about Eurydice, the Avatar. I hope I said that right. She doesn't fight herself. Rather, she employs her attendants. They are truly formidable opponents. Well-rounded and in sync. You want to know more? Yes. Tell me about the Wonder Trio. Those three are truly something, man. Something else. They are a fast martial artist, a strong halberd user. But the scary one is the Alchemist. Cool. Okay, we're gonna potentially find out who those are next time we come here. Yes, we're on our way to Siana. The port doesn't smell great, but the open shirts of the women working around the docks are a sight to behold. Muscular and rough, yet so gentle when <laughs> it matters. <laughs> okay. Sunny. It's my first time here. I don't think you need a comma there, Sunny. That's okay. Mine too. Focus, Vera. You need to focus. Where should we leave the crystal? It's going to be in the way no matter where we place it. Maybe we can ask the mayor? We're an official guild now. We should get priority audiences. That's a great idea. Let's look for the town hall. I wonder if it's the really big building in front of us. But I like talking to people. Don't you see I'm busy? Okay, fine. Why is everybody always late around here? How's the stench treating you, miss? Careful. If you stay here long enough, you'll get used to it. Is there anything up around here? Because I'm pretty sure that's the town hall. Ooh! A fairy, I think. Oh, hi! Nothing to report. Ooh, I like how there's a guy on the tower up here. Welcome to Siana's port. Feel free to look around, just please don't disrupt the workers. The three towers you see are Siana's watchful sisters. The eldest is considered the protector of trade. We hail the middle sister as the patron of politics, and the youngest, well, she loves the sea. Cute. I doubt this is a reference to anything, but it kind of reminds me, in Evangelion, there's the three computers. And, like, each computer kind of has a personality. If I remember correctly, one of my favorite episodes is when they go in to fix one of the computers. I think in Evangelion, the three computers represent, like, motherhood, scientist... Ooh, shoot, I forgot what the other one was. Because the person who created the computers was, like, inspired by, like, the three aspects of her mother. There was, like, mother, scientist... Shoot, I forgot what the other one was. There was a third, like, personality that it represented. And they were named after the three wise men. So I doubt this is like an Evangelion reference. I just think it's cool to like prescribe personality to guardians of sorts. Maybe it'll come to me randomly later <laughs> what the third personality was. It's a shift roster. There are so many people working at the port. Why is there cat hair in the fish? Because there's a cute little kitty. <laughs> Don't eat that fish, kitty. That's totally what he's doing when no one looks. Another cat. Cute! Hello. Here to work as well. Kind of. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to talk to you again. I want to see this fairy. She seems lost. Eek! You can see me? We sure can. 
What are you doing here, tiny one? I'm not tiny. But you are. There's nothing wrong with your size, dear. I'm just looking for a quiet place to live and be left alone. This town apparently ain't it. But we might know a place like that. Huh? Really? It's quite far from here, on the snowy peaks of Mount Gardenoa. I probably mispronounced that, but that's okay. The village's name is Rosedale. Hmm, I guess I will go check it out. Thanks. Wow, she just... She was so ready to go. Oh, this might actually be the town hall. In which case, maybe we should check out the cluster of people first. There's a lot of people outside the mayor's estate. Oh, wow, I've never seen a place this busy. Not even the capital is so cramped. I think we're out of luck. We can't very well waste an entire day waiting. I could charm the people outside the mayor's estate and weasel in, but should I? Uh, excuse me? A vision in green, delicate and splendid like a flower. Hi! How can we help you? Are you the five girls, one ghost? The one and only. Uh, that's great. I requested your assistance. Sparkle said something about a quest in Siana. You must be Alicia. You want us to make sure that the house you inherited is not haunted, correct? Alicia grin, gr grimaces. I th oh, I thought she grins because we're here. She grimaces. Well, it is haunted, but not by malicious beings or anything. Do you still want us to investigate the matter? Please. Very well. Guide us to it. This is the mansion. Oh, it was the one that I thought was the town hall after passing it. As you know, it belonged to my late uncle. He had a knack for magic tricks, you see. He told me that many of the rooms are hidden behind secret passages, passageways. It looks so big from the outside, but I haven't been able to find the bedrooms. I'm scared to go alone. We can explore for you. We'll tell you of any secret passageways we find. Thank you. I blow her a kiss. Oh, before I forget, I managed to decode this hint from Uncle's journal. Seek the minstrel in Roge. I uh, hope I said that correctly. For his is the key bathed in light. Cryptic, huh? Rouge. I think it's Rouge because there's a movie like Rouge Milan. I hope it's Rouge. I quickly note down the hint in my grimoire. I'll wait for you inside. Feel free to come in when you're ready. Words are hard. English is hard. Sorry, lassies. The highway's off limits for the time being. I'm trying to turn around. Thank you. Who are you? Oh, you must be an adventurer. People here call me the overseer because I oversee the roster schedule. Anyway, I love helping people with tips and tricks. Here's your daily tip. A charm which is naughty slap deals physical, not magical damage. That means it can score a critical hit, just like throwing rocks. Come back tomorrow for your next tip. That's pretty cool. Little tip person. Hey, no jump in the line. How long does he intend to keep my old bones waiting? Uh, because I'm a curious being, I'm gonna see what this guy has to say. Grandma, please, let's go home. Poor dude. <laughs> Waiting with Grandma. Oh, wait. A vendor. Tell me if you need anything. What do you have? Do I need anything? Uh, removes negative states. I thought water did that, but maybe these both... I have the money. Might as well buy one of them, just in case. A refreshing glass of orange juice helps you recover mana. I thought I had other stuff, but... Or maybe water does mana. I don't know. I will do one of each, just in case. Come again and bring your friends! Okay, let's check out this haunted but not really haunted house. The air feels fresh, but all the windows are closed. You're right. It smells like flowers in here. It doesn't come from the vases. 
Let's focus on helping sweet Alicia. Yes, we need to find a minstrel in red. I thought I'd have something to inspect with the portraits. Is that Alicia just chilling in the corner? Seek the minstrel in rose, for his is the key bathed in light. That makes me think like one of the portraits. The minstrel in rose, his is the key bathed in light. I feel like that would be one of the portraits. They're both kind of wearing red. There's also just a lot of red in this building. <laughs> The minstrel... I assume it's in the house. Oh, is this where we can put the... We should help Alicia before placing the crystal down. I suppose. Okay. Is it a... something on the bookshelves? And there's only so much to look at in here. Oh! Lax Borders, History of the Stout. Hmm, shall I read some pages? Yes, always read. The Stout is the name of the imposing watchtower that guards the northern border with Belege. Once it stood tall as a symbol of Ostmorian pride. Now it's the epitome of all that's wrong with the kingdom. A melting pot of different walks of life, all entangled in decadence and their shared disrespect for the rules. Nobles and outlaws alike sit shoulder to shoulder, gambling or drinking the night away. The perpetually drunk guardsmen of the Stout have recently been given blunt weapons in an effort to reduce the high mortality rate in the Watchtower. Wow, okay. This title is catchy. The Sea's Blood is Brightway's biggest treasure. Shall I give it a read? Brightway might be renowned for the truest gift of its fishermen and the infamous Freshness Assurance Center, but a keen eye can discern the village's tr real, real treasure, salt. Brightway and Siana look small to the average visitor because the former settlements have turned into a collection of shallow ponds, regularly filled with seawater. Once nature has done its job, the workers collect the sun-dried salt, and the lucrative cycle repeats. The steep price of salt makes the presence of guards a necessity. The ponds are also surrounded by tall walls which are impossible to climb, and the workers are regularly searched at the end of the shift to ensure that no salt has been pocketed by them. Interesting. I can't say I know everything about the salt trade in the real world, but I, s I could have sworn, I'm sure this is correct for somewhere in the world, if not multiple places in the world. I feel like in history class, I learned that there were just straight up wars and battles to the death over salt because of how precious and hard it was to acquire salt back in the day. And now, in the modern day, people are like, uh, careful you don't eat too much salt, it's not good for your blood pressure. Now people are like, check the sodium content of your food, you might be having too much salt. And yet back in the day, people were willing to fight to the death for it. I just find that so crazy. And kind of unfortunate, you're born in the wrong time, you get sent to bloody war for salt. All right, this, sh this shelf doesn't have anything interesting to read. It's a history book about Rosedale, a tale of seclusion. Rosedale, a settlement of Mount Gardenoir, has a storied past and currently is too small to be referred to as a village. Before the Ostbelegian War, its buildings were used by shepherds during the spring and abandoned once winter hit. The Belegian attack caused the Gardenor area's manor to spike, destroying the traditional cycle of seasons and plummeting Rosedale into a perennial snowstorm. The settlement was abandoned and sold by the Shepherd Collective at the Stout's Action House. Ox Action. I feel like that was probably meant to be auction. Where it was purchased by a lady who wished to stay anonymous and has refused to comment on the matter. Haha, <laughs> tiny little portrait. And there's a button. A switch hidden in a portrait. Should I press it? Yes. Ho-ho. First, are there more books? Alicia doesn't seem to mind that I'm reading her books first. The floor math. Floor math. Rules are meant to be followed, not bent. Here's the final and official decree on the X-seconds rule. 
Of all, of all else, if x equals zero, what fell on the ground must not be consumed. Must... Wait, if x equals zero, that means it hasn't even hit the ground, right? If x equals zero, what fell on the ground must not be consumed. Unless... Oh. Unless the owner of the house or establishment is in possession of time magic. <laughs> x is a number within one and ten. Independent studies and careful deliberation are behind 10 seconds being the official official maximum limit. For more about the topic, please consult the relevant chapters of this book and the literature mentioned in the footnotes. The presence of pets within the immediate area reduces X by 10 seconds, making the food item dropped on the floor effectively inedible, regardless of what number X is. Exceptions are made for caged pets, birds, small reptiles, etc., this is provided that they have no means to reach the food item, or do not prowl the floors. How is it? That is... Yes, an important universal rule. Tech second rule, but yes. Depending on the cleanliness, it might be less than 10 seconds. Most fascinating. I sense a connection between the mirrors and the orbs. Let's try touching one. I see two colors. Let's pick one and turn all the orbs that color. Reniel's like, I want to poke it. Azure, like the sky that the flowers crave. Royal mauve to throw the gauntlet. Hmm, sounds like a hint. So, I, I guess... Okay, so choose blue first, but I wonder if we have to switch to purple. To throw the gauntlet. Let the flowers cray. Okay, let's just do blue first. How do I... Reniel, touch it. How do I touch it? Oh. Ah, it changes more than one. Okay. So that changes those two. We want them blue. Which one does this one change? Changes those two, which we also want blue. Uh, I'm guessing you changed the corner. Yep. Hmm, interesting. And then I'm assuming you changed the corners. Huh. What? This changes three at once. Okay. Three at once. I'm sorry, what did this one do again? This changed all three on the corner. Okay. So what does this one do? This changes four. This changes all three. Hmm. Okay, we want this to be purple. Oh, can we make that purple? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then this one. This changes three. Up. Okay, this three. For those watching, this might take a while. Uh, okay. Oh wait, but that's gonna be purple now. Ah! Hmm. Almost. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. And now blue. Haha. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we got these two, so we want this one to be purple in the corner, because... Huh. Okay, I think what we want is we want these two to be purple, so then we can change them all to blue together, which means I'm gonna have to uncha- Ooh, okay, wait. I'm think I feel like I'm really close. Okay. Uh, that's, that's not gonna change this one to purple. Oh, it doesn't hit the time. So close. I feel like I'm so close. Ah! Does that help me at all? Okay, what if... Uh... Mm -hmm. Does this one do... Those two. Okay, so we want. We actually want to change things to purple first. So the. 
We kind of want to go to purple first and then... I almost had it. <gasps> I got all the blues. Yes! Azura like the sky that the flowers crave. Royal mob to throw the continent. Okay, so. <sighs> Finally. How luxurious. What a beautiful room. Gives me a lonely feeling. I bet there's a secret passage hidden somewhere. Okay, we don't have a clue, do we? Oh, books. Oh, <laughs> my curiosity actually helps with the puzzle. How strange, the red book seems misplaced. Shall I press it in? Okay, wait, first I want to explore the little bathroom corner. It's just really cute. I really like the bathroom designs in this game. Like we saw a really cute one in the inn a couple streams back. Okay, I guess there's really nothing to see though. Okay, well, I guess there's nothing else to explore, sure. Press the book. Something just opened somewhere else. But not in this vicinity. Okay, I suppose we go back now. Just in case. I was gonna say, I thought I heard a sound to the right, but then I realized I'm only wearing headphones on my right ear right now. Okay, now I believe we change it to purple to get to this one. Oh boy, okay. Oh boy. And oh wait, see those do the corners, but then... Okay, I think we're gonna have to do a similar thing where we actually need to change a lot to blue before changing back to purple. So, change to blue. Now this changes this to purple. Oh, that was faster than I thought it would be. Ha ha! A lever, but then also an opening. Let's go in the opening first. A theater! Over there, in the middle of the stage. It's an enchanted armor, isn't it? I can feel it. I don't think this is related to the strange flower scent. I feel like we're gonna have to fight it. Let's see. Throweth. Is that the armor speaking? Throweth thou the gauntlet. Thou art not ready. Cometh later. Cometh. I feel. I get you're trying to sound old timey, but I don't know if cometh is a thing. Oh, I can switch back and forth now that I solved the puzzle. Interesting. The kind that implies I would need to come back here at some point. But oh wait, I don't. Oh, I thought that was a switch. That was just a globe. Okay, let's go see if Alicia has another hint. Although we did hear something else open, and Alicia's not in her chair anymore. That's suspicious. Haha! Oh, there she is. The shelf just opened. And you didn't go inside? Ooh. Tranquil Glade. This is very pretty. The fresh, fragrant air is definitely coming from here. Strange. Wow, this place is beautiful! Whoa, my battery is low. Excuse me, guys. Let me plug that in. wanted to stop streaming in the middle of stuff. Usually my computer warns me. It, it didn't look like it was low enough for the warning to pop up, but sometimes if my battery gets eaten up too quickly, my computer just dies without warning. I think we still had time, but we're plugged in just in case. Wow, this place is beautiful! The tunnel that brought us here was quite long. We must be far from the city. A yawn catches our attention. Green arms stretch out from a beautiful, oversized lily. The lily has a face. More than just a face, there's a whole lovely body underneath it. Under it. Oh, added an extra syllable. Visitors! Hello to you. Ow, ow, 
puns, oh boy. Hello. I am almost out of time. Will you help me? What troubles you, my darling? Darling? Oh, I have a name. She touches one of the beautiful lily petals on her head. Call me Fern. Not Lily? A name like that would be too obvious. Fern is a wonderful name, dear. It's very cute, but Lily makes more sense. Fern chuckles. You wouldn't call yourself Elf, would you? Reniel realizes her blunder. Sorry, sorry. That was bad of me. You said you needed something. Yes, we used to rely on the can kindness of Alloys. The name doesn't ring a bell. He stopped visiting some time ago. I was worried, so I sent out my spores to his abode. That might be the cause of the wonderful floral scent. Do you think Alois might be Alicia's late uncle? Late? I'm sorry, he passed away. His niece inherited the mansion. Fern looks lost for a second. She brushes away a white tear from her eye. Alicia, did she ask you to find me? She asked us to explore the mansion. Please, guide her here. We will. Alicia must be worried. Looks like we found the fragrant being that haunts the mansion. Really? It's a lily lady called Fern. She wants to meet you. She seems quite lovely. She wants to meet me? Alicia tilts her head. Guide me to her. Wow. Wow. I had no idea the mansion was hiding a place like this. Hello there. That startles the girl. Fern? That is me. I apologize for the spores. Oh. She touches the lily on her head. It looks remarkably similar to Fern's. Wait. Was Alicia possessed by her all this time? No worries. I can understand. Alicia crouches next to a grass patch. There used to be flowers here. She looks around. And there as well. Now they're gone. Do you have a green thumb? A green everything. Probably a side effect of the spores. Girls, not so loud. When Uncle Alois left me the mansion, he told me to take care of his special corner of paradise. Fern hides another tear. It breaks my heart to see so many of your friends withered, Fern. They were Uncle's friends too. I will help you restore the glade to its former glory. That makes me so happy. So unbelievably happy. Thank you. Whoa, we got lots of money for that. Oh yeah, because the quest was for a, from Alicia. Five girls, one ghost. Thank you for bringing me here. I have here your reward, but I feel like I should give you more. You could let us leave one of our crystals in the main hall of the mansion. Great idea. Of course. And if it's not too much to ask, I have something else to ask of you. Tell us what to do. She looks around. I will need new plants and seeds. Let us start with some roses, perhaps. They are delightful conversationalists. We will bring you roses. The royal gardens of the capital might have some available. Let's go. You grow, girls. I'm... God. They fit so many puns in this dialogue. I'm rooting for you. Here, yeah, perfect. Nice. Okay, what was the whole gauntlet thing? Oh, is Alicia still there? Maybe after I help Alicia more, we get a gauntlet for the night thing. 
them. It will take us a while to restore this place to its former glory. That's why I'm looking for fertilizer. Oh wow, wait. Is each day going to be a different thing? Today, Alicia is looking for healing herbs and sharp teeth to turn into fertilizer for the glade. If you have resources to spare, she can give you money in return. She purchases resources in bulk, five at a time. We usually have plenty of teeth. Ooh, money. Oh, interesting. How much do I have? No worries. You know where to find me if you want to bring clear your bag. Let me see how much we do have of each thing, because wow, that was quite a generous amount of money. First of all, we're going to save because those puzzles were hard. All right, and... Uh, here it is. Items. Oh, wait, hold on. That's, does that include our, like... Our, what's it called? Things we use to make things. I don't know how I can check that actually. I would think it should be here, but items are like what we use in the item menu. Alright, let's. Oh, hold on. Oh, here we go. Okay, yes, we do have many more teeth. We use teeth often, but they're easy to gather. And then. Fortifying herbs or. Is it fortifying or healing? We have plenty of healing, although we use those often too. Healing. But the money. I'm rooting for you. Here's a little something from me. I hope you will find it useful. Come back tomorrow for more. Oh, cool. I guess it's a one time a day thing though. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have whatever the gauntlet is, but cool. Let's see if there's anything else to do outside. I kind of doubt it. He wouldn't let us go that way. The mayor's busy. We were already up here. Although, we did not check out this building the sleepy guard is watching. The lucky sailor. Wait, who are you? What are you looking at? I'm looking at you. Ma chérie, come back at night. <laughs> and then, I see. Hey, welcome to the Lucky Sailor. I can get you three rooms for 150 gold in total. Never mind. Come whenever you need to recover. All right, I'm good. Cool. Is my only way to leave the crystal now? I guess so. Okay. Let's see, where have we not put a crystal? The emerald- oh yeah, I wanted to do more of the maze last time, but I was very low on- not HP, the other one to do attacks. Maybe we can check that out. I don't think we've been to the South Hills yet. The Royal Mines or the Stout. I guess Wis isn't Wisteria the... Whatchamacallit? The... Arena. Oh, the Emerald Maze has two in there. See, I don't know if I'm able to just go outside, because last time I went straight to the ship. Oh yeah, I can just take the ferry. So stay, I'm staying inside here. Do I want to go to Brightway, Siana? Let's see what our grimoire tells us. The Guild Affairs Office. We have been given teleportation crystals. We need to place them in all the major hubs. That's ongoing because we haven't been to some of the places yet. That one's ongoing. We just sent a ferry there. And this one's... I guess we just keep going as we bring resources to her. Oh, we also specifically need to bring roses. Collect roses from the Northwood Castle Gardens. Interesting, it's a long term, but it sounds like it's a really easy one to do. 
Although it does say the level is medium. Collect roses from the Northwood Castle Gardens. I kind of want to try that right now. Right, no. Stay. Go here. Northwood Castle Gar- Have we even been to the Northwood Castle yet today? Northwood. Well, let's see if we're able to get to the Castle Gardens. Where would the castle be? Or is this it? Oh, a quest person. Let's see. Maybe this flower bed doesn't give it to me. Okay. I don't think we've been to the castle yet, but new quest. Who are you? Well, that's quite a sigh. <laughs> I was behind with rent one time too many. Oh no! Do you have a place to sleep? Not really. Let me tell you about Rosedale. I'm sure Dana wouldn't mind to have a cutie like you around. It's not a pyramid scheme, right? What's that? And it's not a cult? It's not. Hmm. I'll check it out then. Cool. Ministry of Kingdom Affairs doesn't sound like a guard. Whoa, what? Has that always been open for me? Welcome to the Ministry of Kingdom Affairs. For criminal matters, please consult the Towns about Headquarters. Okay, well this isn't the castle. But this is a new place. What? I feel out of place in all this poshness. Welcome to the Ministry of Kingdom Affairs. Do you have an appointment? No, I don't. Why won't my hair behave today? Okay, I guess I'll come back here another time. Cool, I didn't know I could just open that gate. Okay, let's explore a little more to see if we can't find the castle gardens. It is a long-term quest. It's possible we just don't have access yet to the castle. Oh, there it is. We're running a drill in the castle grounds. Yep, we can't go in there. Okay. Fine. That's why it's long term. We can't go in yet. In that case... Let's go back to our headquarters. And I kind of want to... Ooh, we can just teleport to Rosedale. I want to check in on our new people we just sent here first. Where are they? We sent two people. We spent the fairy and the guy who missed his rent. Although we possibly got here before then because of the crystals. <laughs> oh, there he is. So warm. Ah. Tis not a bad place. Very quiet. No need for conversation. Cool. Are you happy? Rosedale is my corner of paradise. Aw, she seems happy that she's getting villagers of sorts, townsfolk, what have you. Cute. Okay. Let us to go to Mavin. And from here... We still have things to do. Really? Alright. Ah, little fox girl. Let's save before we go to the, the maze, because if I remember correctly from the little bit I did, every time you defeat an enemy, it sends you to the front of the maze. Like, the enemy's gone, but you have to start from the front again, so. To the Emerald Maze. Okay. Let's just choose one side to go to. Hello, fight me. Enemies. Whoa, okay, our health. I didn't realize we had fought since the last time. Shoot. Run away! Okay. We need to find a bed first. Shoot, I thought for sure we were rested. I don't want to call it a day, but I want to use the bed that's in there. Is there another house I can go to? It feels a little excessive to go to Rosedale just to rest up. But I know we can use her bed here. Apparently going into our guild building ends the day. 
Okay. I'm gonna use your bed. Rest. <laughs> now that we got these handy dandy crystals. Okay. Now we're good to go. I should save now, but whatever. Okay. Wait, let's charge. Wait, hold on. This one can potentially hit three times. It does hit three times, rather. Oh, nice, I got all three. Okay, and since we're in a good spot to do it, let's gather. I'm sure I can find something. Oh, I forgot that uses a lot of her MP. <laughs> That's okay. No oh my god, it got everybody? Dude. I'm the only one that can attack, seriously. Nice. Oh man, her charge went away. Okay, at this point, just slash them all. Nice. Uh, let us heal. Who needs it most? Sunny takes damage faster, so we'll do Sunny first. Ouch. Man, you're probably gonna take him down. Oh, they regained a little health at the end. I just saw Vera's health go up. Okay, granted, Vera also just leveled up. I should pay attention. I wonder if they all gain a little health at the end. Okay. I guess. And at some point, I'll probably run into something if I just keep going one direction. Okay, since they can make us sleep, let's just cut them up. Whoa, we almost got rid of that one. Let's see if we can take him out. Nice. Oh wow, okay. Now they don't fall asleep. How is he still alive? Whatever, maybe this one will knock him out. Nice. And I guess let's see if we can end him with a rock. Aww. Okay, yeah, I think their health only goes up if they level up. Okay, wait, does it just... It just keeps going? Really? Okay. So I guess I have to go down. I feel like I need to go that way, like he's defending something. Okay, well, I hope I'm not stuck now. Okay. Tell me if you need any healing. Let's choose one and get rid of it, because I feel like these guys can cast buffs and stuff. Fine herbs. I guess this is as good a time as any to experiment with things we haven't done yet. Okay, tough leather, we only have one of those. We're not gonna do that one yet. Light feather, what is that? 
Thunder Wow, that did a lot of damage. Can you please not take out our healer? Oh my god, why? Did not think I was gonna need smelling salts here. Thank you. Why do they keep double teaming? Let's see if we can't stun one of them. Whoa. Okay, you just one hit KO that guy. What? Nice. Uh, let's see. Let's. Okay, let's use our. Self heal. Oh dear. Whoa, that was more effective than I thought it would be. Might as well gather. I'm sure I can find. It took a lot of MP, but it's useful. Okay, these guys are strong, but also, like, not strong at the same time. Oh dear. Like, they take damage quite a lot. Throw a rock. Yeah. Oh, come on. Wow. Let's use this one. <laughs> nice. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Herbs. Oh, tooth. Okay. It looks like herbs, but sometimes it's teeth. I think I'm going to go in this way. I think I need to somehow find a way to go lower. Okay, just fight me. Just fight me. Okay, fine. Don't fight me. What? I need to find a way to get lower, I think. Oh, here. I'm going lower. Ooh, a chest. Can I get that chest? Oh, it's below the rock, which is this way. What do we have here? Okay, let's see if we can one hit KO them again. Do it. Do it. Ah, last time I did it, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, let's mixy mix. Fortifying. What did the thunder one do? Protects from lightning attacks. That's not what these guys are doing. From all magical attacks. Raises strength. We have so many sharp teeth. I really like the evasion one. Oh, but magic. Oh, uh, raises magic. I guess strength. We have so many teeth. Let's raise our strength. Let's dip the balance in our favor. Please don't triple team against someone. Okay, good. Nice. Ooh, ooh, it did what I wanted it to. How naughty. Just like that. As well, heal everyone. Or so is the party's HP. Here, take this. Hmm, maybe I should go for the this one. Nice. And then. Come close. 
Really? You tripled up on the one that was already dying. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can't hit him with a rock. Yes! Alright, well, we got him. Cool. And treasure. For you, lassies, a nice jewel to improve your defenses. I hope it'll be of use. Vitality. Ooh, where does this go? Oh, what is that glowing thing? I have a feeling we're being watched. Uh oh. Let's recover before proceeding. Good idea. I see a mana pool over there. We can. He it can heal us up. Okay. Cool. That's a mana pool? Okay, cool. Much better. Light feather. Do you lose me? No! Let me guess. You find him cute. Not cute. Fierce. Oh, such a majestic beast. <laughs> okay, shoot. I almost saved, but I didn't see anything. And I'm like, oh, it's a mana pool. It's a safe place. There are just herbs. And then how did we not see this giant eagle hippogriff thing it looks more just like a giant eagle but I, 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 please don't kill us please don't kill us please let reniel charge why dude come on uh, let's see i don't know if this always puts the enemy to sleep because I feel like I've done it and it's kind of hit or miss. I don't know. Let's see if it works. Please work. Oh, it worked. Ho -ho. I don't think it works each time, but I guess the first time it tends to. Okay, let's buff us up. Raises. Okay, here's where I should use evasion because I feel like that's the best one I have. I just feel like it helps so much. Get him. Oh, wow, he has a lot of health. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, let's buff us up again. Fortifying. Or do we want to debuff him? Strength, evasion. I wish there was one for defense. Like, just... That's probably that one, but I only have one tough leather. Okay, let's dehabilitate him. Lowers the enemy's defense and resistance. Their agility. Strength and magic. Weakens one. That's vague. Weakens one enemy. Uh, oh, does it like reduce their health? Whatever, we have so many teeth. Let's just do this one. Don't you like this? Somehow I doubt we can stun him, but let's see what happens. <laughs> Oh boy! Why do they have little speech bubbles above them? Oh, okay. They can't do stuff like that. Oh boy. Whoa, I need more matted fur, because that's like my favorite move to heal the whole party. This will help. Please don't interrupt her charge. I need her to be charged. Stop! I can't do this again then, can I? Man. Okay. A debuff. Deals fire damage. Wow, that's the only one we've done? Alright, well we have lots of feathers. Let's see what this one does. I need this just for you. Ooh, nice. That looked so impressive and it did so little damage. <laughs> Almost got him. Stop doing that one! Ah. 
Just in case. I feel like we've basically got him, but I also don't want to die. And also it sucks when they pass out, they don't level up. Can you get him with this one? Nice. Oh boy. Is the old man behind this as well? Crazy guy. The old man being the Tam's brother who hid the chests? I don't know who they mean by the old man. Also, every time we go through a doozy, we must save. The sign reads, Lassies, you managed to defeat the rock. I'm impressed. Oh, uh, okay. He did set that up. Wait, really? We can't put a gem here? We've been through so much, I thought we could at the very least put one of those teleportation gems here. Come on, really? I just healed myself, but whatever. This is useful. Much better. This would be so perfect to put a gem here, because then I can use this mana pool. Why? Okay, so I pushed that rock to get out, but... I feel like I've just done, like, most of this. Whatever, just in case I go back down, we'll push the rock up. I haven't seen anything in this whole region that implies we can put a stone. Which is, oh no, I don't want to fight. Well, I guess it doesn't hurt to fight, but whatever. I feel like I basically explored everything, because there's like three layers, it repeats as you walk along. I don't see anywhere to put a gem, and I swear that's... Uh -uh. The Emerald Maze. Maybe later in the game I can put one there? I mean, that was still useful, I leveled up and everything. And I know there's a mana pool there, but... I swear it's the Emerald Maze. The Emerald Maze. There were like two things listed under the Emerald Maze. I guess there must be a quest down there later in the game, because we did not see anything. Alright, we'll call it a day. It's nice to be welcomed back by a beautiful woman with a smile on her face. Vera. I wouldn't mind getting used to it. Sunny, Renew, welcome back. The door is open behind her back, and I can see sparkles behind her. Uh, have fun. Are you going somewhere? Celia shows us a satchel of gold. No, but we are. Let's have dinner somewhere nice. My treat. Oh, Sparky, can't you come as well? I don't need to eat. And I don't think people would be thrilled to see me. We can bring back something. And don't say that. You're so cute. I'm sure plenty of people would be all over you. Cute and sparkly. Sparkles, if possible, shines even brighter. But where's Kitty? She went ahead and secured us a table. Is it safe for her to roam around alone after she was kidnapped and someone tried to break in? Let's go! Cute. Poor Meow is sitting at a big table all by herself. We'll make the evening worth the wait. She perks up when she sees us, and for once, she doesn't try to hide it. Aww. Well, now comes the hardest part of the evening, <laughs> seating arrangements. Uh, sit in the corner. <laughs> Good evening to you. How did the loitering around go? We placed the crystals as in oh that's sunny, whoops. We placed the crystals as instructed. We explored a creepy mansion. And we met two rather flowery ladies. Who's C Celia? I think is our fox lady. Sounds like a lovely day. It was! The town's guard in Marvin informed me that they're looking into the failed break-in. Suffice to say that I don't trust them. They were pretty strong when we sparred against them. 
Being capable in battle doesn't mean being good at investigation. Or interrogation. We start chatting about the places we saw and the people we helped. We order as well. Whatever we want, says Celia. And once the food arrives, we div dive. <laughs> we dive in. We dig and we dive in. Adventuring makes me hungry. Celia chuckles over her ale. How come you're not sharing? Oh, Taya. Oh my god, what? I don't know what voice I just went to. How come you're not sharing the booze? Isn't it poison for you, Kitty? For her as well. Celia finishes her jug and blows Taya her raspberry. It seems you two have become fast friends already. That's one way to put it. She pauses. It's not bad to have someone to talk to aside from Sparkles. It's unlike her to show such a vulnerable side. The loneliness must be getting to her. I almost feel like trying my luck with a hug. I'll make sure we work on that communication orb as soon as possible. Her air smile is small and incredibly cute. Excellent. I'm counting on it. Something fuzzy and soft, her tail touches my waist. Aww. What was that? She grabs her tail with her hands and tucks it behind her back. I've never seen her blush so furiously. This damn thing is hard to control. Spontaneous displays of affection are just the best. Wipe that smoke smile off your face. I was about to whip you with it. Where are you now? I will, if you don't drop it. As you wish. She grabs the cutlery with the angriest little huff and resumes eating. What does a girl need to do to get her to be honest? Man, I want to go back and listen to the other dialogue, but now it just shoots us into story. I think it auto-saved. I did that at the end, I think I'll do it here too. But I'm gonna guess this is Vera? I can't move. I try to toss and turn, but my body doesn't do what I want. I can't feel the pillow. I can't feel the bed sheets. I can't feel anything. Where am I? Help! Help me! Please help! Vera, you look a bit pale this morning. Are you alright? I'm fine. Okay, let's uh, save here. They are very generous with their amount of save files. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take a new one just in case. And let's see. Oops, hold on. Uh, I want to see if there's an auto save. Hold on, wait. Let's check here. Time 6:52. Guildhouse. Oh wait. Okay, let's look a little before 6:52. At the outside. I want to see what the others would say at dinner. 6.52... Oh, this one might be it. Aha, I think they were generous and gave us an autosave right before the option. No, don't save. Load. Oh my god. Load the data from the saved game. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. I wish they did this during the interrogation because I think you could have chosen Sunny during the interrogation scene. I would have loved to see that. I think I'll just have to replay that part of the game if I want to see what happens. Oh yeah, I remember learning control. Oh, although we're here already. Control would skip the dialogue if we need. Sit next to Reniel. Yay! How did the loitering go? Replace the crystals, creepy mansion. I don't want to skip the dialogue too much because we speak so soon after this. Reniel is cutting away a part of a carrot with a knife. When she sees me watching, she smiles sheepishly. The knives here are not sharp enough. She's using her own. I hadn't even noticed. Dear, are you sure it's a good idea? The blade has seen some better days. Don't worry, I do it all the time. I have a lot of practice with it. With it. <laughs> I can even do tricks. You always carry that knife with you, don't you? She looks at it with tender eyes. Some old friends gifted it to me. For someone bad at magic like me, 
It's a lifesaver. She wipes it on the handkerchief, but the blade doesn't exactly come clean. What did you use it for? All sorts of things. Cutting small tree branches, making fires, slicing fruit. Once, I got lost in the forest and left carvings on the rocks to avoid going in circles. She shudders. That was not fun. I have never heard it sound so serious. Oh, whoops, I sounded too friendly. She was meant to be serious. That memory must be quite scary to suck the cheeriness out of her voice. I did not realize it was meant to be serious. I didn't suck the cheeriness out of her voice. I stroke her arm to reassure her. I'm fine. I'm fine. You're allowed to feel negative emotions, you know. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Still a bit scared, I think. If I went into that forest now, however, I wouldn't have any problems. Why were you there in the first place? My parents left me there. She says it so naturally, almost as if she was... T okay, then I go serious, and now apparently she was being natural about it. My parents left me there. She says it so naturally, almost as if she was talking about the weather. Her parents left her alone in the forest when she was a child. Huh. It sounds pretty bad when I say it like that. It, it was not. How do I put it delicately? Very nice of them. Poor thing. I want to hug her and never let her go. Why do they do such a thing? To teach me a lesson. I don't really remember what I was supposed to learn. But it must have worked. They never did it again. Oh, honey. How old were you? Eight or nine, I think. I squeeze her hand under the table. Elvim customs or not, that is unacceptable. I'm fine, I'm fine. If her parents and I ever have the misfortune of meeting, I'll make sure they remember me. That's a promise. Oh. Her blink has become beloved pocket knife. Huh. Okay, well, we're gonna have to repeat that a few times to unlock the other dialogue. You look a bit pale this morning. Okay. I'm gonna re-save with that one because we just unlocked something with Reniel as opposed to File 9. I like the conversation with Taya, but it was just a conversation as opposed to having a heart-to-heart. -heart. Okay, is this it again? The plump boy, yes. Don't save, load. Oops, I meant to hit control. Oh, I almost skipped this. Okay, there's two more choices. Sunny. Sunny smiles sweetly. How did the loitering go, etc, etc, yada yada yada. Again, I'm afraid to hit control and then skip the Sunny dialogue. Sunny is writing something down in a notebook between bites. I can't help but steal a glance. She doesn't wear her glasses very often. I think she only needs them to look at things up close. Oh my god. Okay, when she sees me staring, she puts down her graphite stick. My apologies. I didn't mean to be rude. I shouldn't write while leading. She shows me her gloved hand. The graphite made the white fabric dirty. What were you jotting down so passionately? How the spices influence the dish? I'm terrible at cooking, but I could learn something from it. Alchemy and cooking don't seem too different to me. Both have a recipe, ingredients, and preparation methods. The building blocks are the same, but they are almost opposites. She nods with conviction. Say you add too much spice to a dish. Someone might find that meal delicious, while another finds it disgusting. Alchemy is much more dangerous. Too much of a regent, or too little? Reagent, maybe. And the results could be c catastrophic. No, cooking is far more forgiving. And she whips up those concoctions on the spot during battle. You look a bit pale. I just realized how we are literally in your hands, dear. Good thing they're infallible. She resumes eating with a smirk. 
Wouldn't I like to test them on me? Senny chokes on a bite of steak, suddenly very flustered. Oh, come on. Now Sun has become a lovely recipe book. Man, I feel like I have to choose whether I want beloved recipe book or beloved knife. Help! Help me! Please help! Okay, we're gonna have to go through that help me scene one more time. Let's see. I guess I'll make a separate save. Do I want beloved knife or the beloved book that we got? Alright, one more time, let's see what Celia has to give. Load. Celia. It's my lucky day! Uh, yeah, loitering, etc. We did things. <sighs> and we're hungry. Why, why is Taya here? Taya grumbled something about not sharing her bi the booze. You could have ordered it for yourself. Celia chugs down the rest of her drink and makes a happy sound. Uh, worth it. On the opposite side of the table, Taya wrinkles her nose. You could have saved some money. <laughs> Why would I? It's there to be spent. She leans in and whispers to me loudly enough for Taya to hear. I want some of the guild ones playing cards with her. I lost some until she got cocky, and then I swooped in and won big. Oh my. Is it my turn to scold her? Kitty! Gambling is a terrible addiction. And I am not an addict. How much was at stake exactly? Only 2,000. Celia smirks affably, and I feel a bit faint. I look at the full table in front of us. The dishes and drinks probably amount to half of her winnings. Only, she says. Mm, I do feel a bit guilty. Not enough to return the money. Oh, hush. I'm spending it on you all. Am I not? Taya pouts to her meal, and Celia turns to look at me. I just wanted to have a bit of fun with her. I'll return the win tomorrow. She winks, and I can't help but sigh in relief. I was worried here. It's a good sign that your heart beats faster when you're around me. <laughs> I place a hand on her thigh. It's oh so warm and soft. There are better ways to accomplish that. Do they involve leaving the table earlier? Pinky, finish your expensive steak before it gets cold. I retract my hand and continue eating as well. What? <laughs> Whoa, I can't keep all three of these, can I? Your coin has become luckiest coin. What does that mean? Okay, here, I'll mute it because it's probably annoying hearing the same thing like three times in a row. Okay, here we'll put it back up. Fairy, you look a bit pale. Are you alright? I'm fine. Oh, there's a little kitchen corner. I didn't pay attention before that we have a little kitchenette up here. That's so cute! This is like a kitchen and eating area and then the- I didn't pay attention to that. That's really cute. Okay. What is the luckiest coin? How do I find that? Is that something we equipped? Hmm. What does recipe book do again? I think it increases her health and mana. Oh, whoa, this whole time I've had this. Okay, so luckiest coin, which I think I already had, I guess is better now. A lucky foreign coin of Eric is around. I thought I had that equipped already. Okay. So that's luckiest coin. 
And then if I were to have kept the lucky pocket knife, it increases her strength and defense. So I guess it would just up strength defense. Okay, so next time I play, I have my three saves. I could either have the luckier pocket knife increases strength and defense here. The coin increases a lot of stats. Strength, defense, magic, resistance. Oh wait, that's... No, yeah, okay. I'm leaning towards the coin. Or we can have the recipe book increases health and mana. She does get beat up a lot. The health is nice. Oh, mana too. Hmm. Okay, I love Renio. But I'm leaning towards the recipe book or the coin. I'll probably take the coin just because it helps with so many different stats. Strength, defense, magic, resistance. I'll think about it. I was gonna wrap up here anyway. I'll think about it. I totally forgot if I saved after this round. Let's see. We have the Emerald Maze, Guildhouse Guild. Okay, I haven't done this third save. Okay, so we have 9, 10, 11. The knife, the book, or the coin. I'm probably going to take the book or coin, but again, I, I have time to wait. We'll wrap up here for now. Cool. We did not see Lyra, our mysterious white-haired beauty who has not graced us with her presence in quite a while. I feel like we gotta see her, like, any moment now in the game, probably next time. I was hoping we'd see her today because it's been a while, but we shall wrap up here and continue where we left off next time. Where's my outro slide? There it is. Cool. Alright, catch y'all next time.